Karen Bryan for MMA Heat. I'm here with Joseph Benavidez, who is one of the coaches on the new season of The Ultimate Fighter. He's coaching against Henry Cejudo. And uh, Joe, I know you guys have been doing media all day today. I know I've told people this. I've seen a few episodes of this. And um, I, I think people might be surprised. That it, it gets a little edgy between the two of you. Does it? it, get, it, it does. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, uh, that's funny. I mean, I don't like the guy. So there's that. So that always starts with that. But it's not even that I don't like him. I don't think he's a bad person and he's pretty much harmless, but he just annoys me. So, you know, therefore, Why? huh? Why, though? Is it because of you guys were uh, supposed to fight at some point? Yeah, just yeah. that, you know, and just the way he went about it, like of kind of trying to call me out or whatever his attempt was at that because it was kind of disrespectful. It's like one thing to say you want to fight me, but like then do it when you have the chance to do it you know i don't care if people want to fight me i think that's great and i don't care if people don't want to fight me that's great but don't say you want to fight me and then not and just don't go about it like a doofus you know so he did that and i always thought the guy was just kind of a moron <laughs> and but it, like if that never happened i would have just thought that from afar but now that we're coaching and he kind of chose me as like an enemy, I guess, which I wouldn't even put it to that extreme. We're not like enemies, but now it's like, you know, it's just easier to get that across. And, you know, if we have to like exchange some words or whatever, I have to call him out for being a moron. You know, I do that. But other than that, he pretty much does it himself every time he talks. So. That's all we need to do. Well, here's the thing, yeah, Joe, because usually I, I, we're not used to hearing you say so things. Weird. I know. I, this is the thing. It's very strange to me. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. Well, it's still not mean. I'm just like, yeah. that's kind of just how I feel because, like, I mean, I think that says, like, a little bit about me. I've had, you know, 30-something fights now, you know, 20 in the UFC with world-class guys. No one's ever even said anything bad about me. I've never had to say anything bad about someone. So the fact that someone chose, you know, me to whatever... I mean, it is weird. It, it's odd because that's not, you know, what I do. And it's still not like it's nothing like, you know, like I said, I don't think he's bad. And I don't yeah. wouldn't even push it to the point of just hating him. It's just, you know, he's my next fight. And I had to spend, you know, six weeks like hanging out with the guy. And I already thought he was a moron before that. So it's just a little easier now. <laughs> so what was more difficult, though, coaching people who are getting a title shot before you do or having to be around Henry for all that time? Nah, I mean, Henry wasn't anything like we're fighting and yeah. like from the time we were filming the show to the time we're fighting it's so long that you know i was able i think he was able as well just to put the other guys first mm -hmm. and really it was all about them it was for them you know it was their fight it was their show it was everything was about them so um it 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 all geared towards them and that was difficult in itself i mean take a world-class coach and put him in this format it's tough yeah. For anybody to improve a fighter in six weeks nonetheless one week when they're fighting back to back to back making weight guys you don't know you know in with just what we have so that's a hard ass um that's hard format for any coach so for us not being coaches me not being a coach um yeah it was definitely tough you know especially the guys are my weight mm -hmm. and um you know a lot of people are like oh well you could fight all these guys but it's like there's 16 of them i'm not gonna fight all of them <laughs> you know um there's if i do it could be way far down the road right. and you know it would hopefully be for a title like if mm -hmm. someone who wins the show can beat demetrius or something and the show was already so awkward for them mm -hmm. of like they're already used to fighting guys they live with you know for six weeks they go fight each other one wins one loses then they go home and like hang out together and eat so anything we can get over down the road i mean i think it's gonna be pretty easy you know what i mean so it wasn't really awkward for me it was uh it was a challenge you know if anything it was it was just challenging to look at that at the sport from like another perspective not as just like hey i'm a fighter and now i just got to do it it's like oh shoot i am chosen to you know help these guys on a very important important part of their journey like i'm gonna try my best and that's challenging especially for me like i don't take myself serious in that realm like i don't think i'm like a role model or like anything crazy like that so it's just like finding that balance of like yeah i'm a i'm like the most experienced guy mm -hmm. but i'm also like your peer yeah. you know and without being like you know overbearing and stuff so it was it's all a challenge like i wouldn't want some guy my weight that i think i eventually want to fight like barking orders at me or making me say his name and like yeah you know so whatever yeah so it's just like you know that that's all challenging in itself but it was kind of easy just 
be you know try to be myself and you know lead by example and also just make good relationships because you're not going to just improve the fighters 100 percent then so just got to make their experience nice while they're there the difficulty too i would imagine is that there are, are people from all over the world there are certainly some language barriers there do you speak spanish no i do not speak spanish joseph benavidez <laughs> i'm sorry dude do you get any heat for that oh i get all sorts of heat <laughs> Yeah, I get so much heat yeah. from everybody. Um, but hey, you know, I mean, but I'm, 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 in, in I mean, I, w I wish I did. Yeah, like my grandma was a retired Spanish teacher and I lived with her when I was a kid. Well, yeah. me and my mom and my brothers all, we stayed with her and she wanted to teach me every day. She stopped Spanish for 35 years and I was just wanted to ride my bike and play football and whatever and American gladiators so it's like you know I never did and you know that's I mean yeah it would have been nice now and that's like a regret I have but also it's like yeah I wish I spoke Spanish but I also am not um, cornered into like just this fan base or that like a lot of times I get heat because people are like oh well you know you would have this like fan base or whatever I'm like well I hope people from all around the world like me because I'm a human being. Mm -hmm. Like I hope they all like me whether I speak Spanish right. or s don't speak Japanese. I don't speak like Japanese either, whatever. Right. You know, so I'm just a guy, you know. That's yeah. how I feel. I think so too, but I just felt like it might have been difficult like, you know, when you are trying to at least coach somebody in a fight and if they don't speak your language, yeah. you know, I, I would feel bad if I couldn't be helpful for them in their fight. Yeah. Well, I mean, these guys came in knowing that there's a guy yeah. from Japan, there's two guys from Brazil, uh, one guy from Mexico. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So, I mean, I think they kind of went in knowing and these fighters have to go in knowing mm -hmm. like, hey, this is what I told them all. I said, you guys need to know when you came in this show that you were the best in here and you were going to win the fight regardless. If we can help you guys with anything, you know, right. then that's great. If you can learn something, if you can take something away, if you can execute something in a fight. But you guys should come in ready. You should come in self-motivated. Um, you should. We should not have to help you make weight. You guys are world class. If you expect to go for a title, you better know how to make weight. You better know you know how to do everything else and we can help you a little bit along the way we have six weeks with you one week in between fights so um, you know these guys that you know maybe there was a language barrier or whatever and anyone involved um, in the show I think they came in already knowing like hey they're ready to go through the hardest competition of their life and, and they're ready regardless of who their coach was so I do want to talk about the fact that you are going to be squaring off with Henry. Um, you know, both of you have fought Demetrius before. You uh, have had more success against Demetrius. Um, you know, what do you see when you look at Henry? Where do you think his skill set is? How do you think a fight uh, between the two of you is going to go? Um, as far as his skill set, I mean, he's athletic. Um, he's a um, Olympic champion wrestler. Um, everyone knows that. So. I mean, his skill set is there, but his fights, I've never been impressed by one of his fights. I honestly don't think anyone has ever been impressed. Like, people have been disappointed in his fights. Like, no one's ever been like, oh, did you see that Henry Cejudo fight? That was sick. Like, no one ever said that. It's always been like, oh, oh, yeah, did you see Henry's fight? Yeah, he, he'll get better or whatever. He looked okay and or he won. You know, so he goes out there and he's beaten world class guys. Obviously, everyone you find in the UFC is world class. And, um, but like I said, it's never been an impressive fashion. Mm -hmm. You know, he's obviously athletic, he's just as fast and just as strong and, you know, explosive as anybody else. But, um, I mean, I think um, just watch either of our fights, either of our careers, and, you know, you can answer that question yourself. For me, yeah, I mean, I think I'm just better everywhere. The guy's a wrestling champion, but I mean, just because you can play ping pong doesn't mean you can play tennis. Like, this is a fight. It's not a wrestling match. Um, he's had success wrestling people, but he's also gone 0 for 10 in a fight with takedowns against uh, Chico Camus. Yeah. So, you know, um, yeah, that's there. But at the end of the day, like I said, it's a fight, and I know I'm the better fighter. Also, I've never quit, and he has. So, you know, that's, that's there. You know, that's never going to happen with me with him um i just think i need to take him to that point and uh to, to beat him yeah. yeah so and how much do you want a third shot with demetrius i want it a lot i mean obviously i mean and it's something it's something it's different because obviously i want it that's my yeah. ultimate goal that's all i want to like <laughs> do that's that that means everything to me because i never feel like i fought him to my abilities yeah. you know what i mean like I've lost to Dominic Cruz twice, and yes, that would be a great other fight now, it's a different division, but, you know, 
the second time we fought, I was like, man, I, I performed, you know, quite well compared to the first one. Yeah. I improved in that small time. Yeah, obviously I didn't fight perfect because I lost and there were some things I made mistakes on, but it was like one of those ones you're like, hey, I controlled what I could and, you know, it was a pretty good fight you can be proud of. I feel like I've never gone out there and fought as good as I can against Demetrius and that's all I want to do. If it comes to a win, you know, if it comes to a result, I can't control that, but I want to go out there and know, you know, the best me fought this guy who's considered the best pound for pound guy and see what I can really do against him. Like I said, the first fight. Yeah, it went to a split decision, but it was the same thing. I wasn't content with my performance and everything that I felt like I did. The second fight felt the best I've yeah. ever felt in my life, in my life. Like, I was like, there's no way, like, the things I'm doing right now, the way I feel, like, practice-wise, is like, this is the best I ever felt. Obviously, sport's crazy, yeah. crazy results. So, obviously, yeah, that is the goal, you know, to get that third fight. But it's also hard to be showing that I wanted to everybody because it's people are going to criticize you if you're like out there hey I need a third fight I need this I need that oh well you lost twice well you did this well you do that so I just control what I can control improving every day doing this I think this show is a great great you know build um, build up and exposure for it because if we were just to fight one day people would be like oh wow they're fighting again right. that's cool maybe I'll watch it maybe whatever but this brings so much exposure to the division mm -hmm. and I'm a fan of the division I'm a fan of all the guys that are on the show and it's so cool to see that it's just what the division needs just a little shake up in it yeah. people are going to even care more about you know DJ and the title fight after this because some unknown is getting a title shot on him me and Henry mm -hmm. yeah we're sitting there on, in the back but I beat him and it just builds up that third fight that much more you know we're on your TV every single week you know you're going to hopefully want to see it after that and that's my job yeah. to make happen like I don't believe when people say Oh, I deserve a title shot. It's like, you don't because you're not getting it. Someone thought you didn't deserve it. Therefore, you don't. And if you do deserve it, you don't always get what you deserve. So you don't deserve a title shot till you get it. Right. So that's why we're going through this whole show. That's why we're going through that. And I'm just working that point deserving it. Making people want to see it. Making fans. Making media. Making bosses. Everyone want to see a third fight where they're like, dude, let's do this. It wasn't at this point. We had to make a whole show around it. I'm proud. I'm a part of it. But uh, at the end of it, to me, it's just, yes, it's it's more of a buildup and more um, going into my third fight with DJ. Well, as I said, I've seen a few episodes already. So far, so good, my friend. Congratulations to you and best of luck in the fight against Henry. Yes, thank you so much, guys.